Hey, how's everyone doing? Welcome to Aussie Nightlife. I'm gonna show you guys how to hack, mod, or add batteries into your controller. Notice there's no batteries. These two connectors are just connected to the positive and negative. Put the batteries inside. I'm gonna turn it on. See, it turns on. There's two batteries hidden inside here. All right, I hope you guys can see this, but this is not the best phone. So this is a little one cell charge controller. You can, it takes a USB or you can plug in your own voltage positive and negative I will have the link I'll try my best to explain it to you guys so in the row in the remote there's a negative and a positive okay negative and positive so let's just say that's the negative and the positive when you open it up there's two wires inside so these two are the, the charge controllers which is right here Get two one cell batteries, small ones that fits in your controller. Solder it to have two of them. Then this negative wire goes to negative. This positive wire goes to positive. And then this positive and negative just join. That's it. So now just like this it has USB where you can charge this would charge this battery this would charge this battery and meanwhile it's charging these two batteries are actually connected in Sirius most of you guys know what that is if you don't know look up parallel and Sirius so negative 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 to positive positive to negative negative to positive so that's it so this is a 3.7, it's really 4.2. So it goes from 3.7 up to 4.2 volts. So it's about 4 volts. So it's 8 volts. And most remotes takes nowadays is 6 batteries, which is 1.5 times 4, not 6, I'm sorry. It's 4 batteries. 4 times 1.5 is 6 volt. 6 volt. These two will be, let's see, 3.7 or 4.2. So really, double of 6.7 is 6, 7.4. Up to double this is 8.4. So this 7.4 is able to handle 6 volt. And of course, and I guarantee you, it should not burn up your remote. So I'm going to show you guys right now. I already made it already, so I decided to show you guys this afterwards how do you guys like it no batteries oh by the way these are drawing tablet it costs about twelve dollars from china of course it's good for like what i'm doing right now or like for your kids you know since you're home teaching them how to do homework or math doesn't work with your finger you can draw Twelve bucks, AliExpress. There's also a lock button, so you won't be able to write on it. <clears throat> and um, what else can I tell you about this? Yes, these extra cables is just connected to the black and red, just so I can charge the battery inside with a smart charger. Or if you go to your friend's house, if you don't have a smart charger, you can just use one of these. You can charge two at the same time or just one at a one at a time. And then this, for all of you people that have this, the thumb bow RC, if you have a red cat, take that rubber wheel off and put it on. So helpful. Without this, I would not be able to drive with one hand. Look, it has good. But without it, it's really slippery.
Hey guys, excuse the mess. There's a bunch of um, dirt from the RC car. And by the way, my water blocks came. So anyway, let's get to the point. Now, when you plug it in, it's going to turn red as if it's charging. It's blue if it's full or there's no battery. So I'm going to show you this one right here. Hold on. All right. So when you plug it in, if you don't have a battery, connect it the, at the other end. It's going to be blue. This one's fully charged and this one's fully charged. So let me just show you. So when it's charging, it's red, but they're very close to full. So very soon, it's going to be blue. So this is going to charge this battery. This is going to charge this battery. And then the positive on this side is just going to go to the battery. Then the negative on this side is going to go to the negative. That's it. Then you want to combine these two. Then you have the negative on this side and the positive on this side. So look, that is fully charged. So I'm just connecting them together as if the battery, because it's a two cell. Connect it together and charge. So now it's full. And I just want to show you it works. So it's both charging each individual battery. And I sh connect it to these two just to short circuit it. To show you guys it's going to work. Watch. I'm going to connect these two. Like, on. This is the dumbbell. And then once you turn it on, the battery went down a little bit. So now, now this one is charging again. So I turn it off. It's going to get full again. Very short. Just give me a second. It's going to be blue. And if I... Uh, see? That one turns on. Once it turns on, it kills some battery. So it's going to try to charge again. So watch. Watch that light. And watch this light. See that? See that? This one is still charging. So yeah, it works. 